Over the years, Russell Watson has been on a profound journey of faith, a shared experience with his second wife, Louise, and daughters, Rebecca and Hannah. They've seen him recover from serious illness, and many other positives have come from it. Did what happened change him at all, as a person? Yeah. We spend a lot more time together, quality time together. I suppose it's made him a stronger person as well. In general, I don't think that you would be where you are now if it didn't. Yeah. So it's made him a, a better person, would you say? Mm, 100%, yeah. A lot of girls your ages uh, don't like spending time with their, their parents, their dad especially, um, but not you two. Yeah, I love spending time with my dad. We go on holidays together. I tour with him, yeah. sell all the merchandise on the road. My eldest daughter, she works for me. Hannah comes along to a lot of the shows. Louise is with me most of the time as well. She she tours a lot of the shows with us. Yeah, it is. There's a reason for that. Yeah. I like them around. Well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like his bodyguards when we go out. You, I, you are, aren't you? Yeah. But that's lovely, I think. Yeah. That's 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 cool, just being a, a, a close family, isn't it? Yeah. And at the moment, yeah. you've got me as well, so you're yeah. <laughs> That's oh, the, the cherry the on the cake. Oh, yeah. thanks. Do you think you've changed? I think it can bring it back to Christianity in some respects, in that Christianity represents different things to different people. For me, it represents, you know, love and the people around you. You can be in the gravel looking up that's when you see good Christians. It's all well and good when you're at your top of the game looking down on mm -hmm. everybody, mm -hmm. easy peasy. But when you're at your lowest point, that's when you find out who the people are that love yeah, you, who yeah. the people are that are gonna support you. And that, to me, is the essence of, of Christianity. Well, love conquers all, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your dad's become more spiritual than he yeah, was? Yeah, um, we started to believe in God a lot more, didn't we? Because we thought that God had part in in helping. helping you through your tumours and stuff. Yeah. So we always think that there is something up there, what, like looking down on us. Since 2010, it's, it's changed a lot, and now you just you just enjoy life so much more. I think over the years I've found that he has more of a connection with the songs that he sings, especially on stage. I always feel like there's some kind of presence at the side of stage. He loves all the arias and it really suits his voice as well, so it's kind of a win-win. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> so how do you feel now when you're singing something like Ave Maria? There's a connection there with mm -hmm. the music. You know, the first time I sung Ave Maria, when I'd come back from the illness, I got on stage and total meltdown. <laughs> Why, because you felt more of a connection? I felt a real connection with it. I think about my family, I think about the kids. That's almost it for this week. I've really loved spending time with Russell and hearing all about his journey of faith. Next week on Remembrance Sunday, Catherine Jenkins visits the National Memorial Arboretum in... Thanks so much for sharing your life with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. We're going to end with a uh, rousing hymn that points to the God that carries us through all the journeys of life. Until next time, from us both, bye-bye. When he's not on tour, in recent years, Russell Watson has done most of his recordings at a purpose-built <laughs> studio in his house. And it's become quite a spiritual home for him. Interestingly, in this studio, I suppose, recently, you've been singing a lot more religious stuff. It's something that I've only tapped into in the last few years, um, but it, it, it just seems to suit my voice.
I've really enjoyed it. How do you feel when you are singing hymns? Uh, for instance, I know that you, you love hymns like Abide With Me and the traditional ones. Yeah, Abide With Me is my all-time favourite. It's to do with, with history. My granddad, it was, it was his favourite piece of music. And what about a hymn like uh, In Christ Alone? Yeah, well, obviously, I've been doing some stuff with this bloke called Alan Jones. Have you heard of him? <laughs> <Yeah>. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's a beautiful song. It's well constructed. It's a lovely tune. It's an emotive lyric as well, mm -hmm. and particularly the section about, you know, the resurrection. And, and then when it, it, it roars into the, the bridge section where we're in unison, yeah. That's wonderful. And bursting forth in glorious day. Come on, Alan, sing yeah. along with me. I, I, can, I can tell when I'm standing next to you that you enjoy that bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it kind of epitomises Christianity for me, that. 